Today, we're going to get a behind the scenes tour of the Midwest Solar Expo, which is coming up June 15 to 17. It is a 100% virtual event this year. So we're going to get a behind the scenes tour with Jake Rosemarin, who is the co-founder of the Midwest Solar Expo. Jake is also the senior vice president of the Antenna Group. Welcome to SolarWorks for Illinois, Jake Rosemarin. Thank you, Tim. Awesome to be here. Really appreciate you making time for us. And the expo is now just a couple of weeks away. I attended last year for the first time and I'm excited that I will be able to attend again, although I will be attending virtually as will all of the attendees this year. So that's a unique twist and we are gonna dive into that technology. Before we do that, Jake, tell us a little bit about yourself, how you got interested in solar and the energy transition. Absolutely. Um, so been in the renewable energy world for about 10 years. Uh, I got started um, at the uh, Maryland, D.C. and Virginia Solar Energy Industry Association chapter, uh, so MDVCA, um, and uh, fell in love with the industry. It was a, you know, kind of that hockey stick moment in, in uh, solar where everything was about to you know, blow up in the industry. And uh, so I was really, really excited about that and uh, kind of you know, dove in in and um, you know after my time at MDVC I uh, spent some time with a residential and commercial uh, solar developer installer um, in the mid-Atlantic region uh, and then uh, started a marketing and PR firm focused on clean energy and then clean tech more broadly and um, eventually we were acquired by Antenna that was about three and a half years ago um, and so now I uh, run the clean tech uh, division for Antenna. Great. And tell us about the ideation of the Midwest Solar Expo. Yeah, totally. So uh, started about seven years ago. Um, the original goal was to bring solar leaders from the East Coast and West Coast that were um, already, you know, those markets were more, uh, more mature, more sophisticated operations. You know, they knew how to grow solar markets. Um, and, you know, there was all these policy wins popping up around the Midwest. Um, and so, you know, we wanted to help those markets mature by bringing in, um, you know, more participants to the market. Um, and so the Midwest Solar Expo is a platform for facilitating business across the supply chain. Um, and, you know, we've always, uh, we've always strived to make the expo fun and different. And, you know, the show's always been kind of ahead of the curve in terms of how we structure the networking events or, you know, leverage technology to facilitate people meeting um, and you know, how we've incorporated interactive events to keep things interesting. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's, it's always been a, a really fun initiative um, that we've uh, you know, put on. And uh, I think it's always been really well received in, in the market. I've become a big fan of these regional events. They're much more manageable. Uh, as much as I love SPI also, these regional events are just more manageable, fewer people, fewer products, but still great content and meaningful connections and lots of new and good information. So looking forward to this year's expo. I now have the uh, landing page for the speakers. Looks like you have a great lineup. Tell us what participants can expect this year at the expo. Yeah, so uh, we have over, I think, over 70 speakers now, which is, uh, is going to be great, uh, really from a diverse mix of uh, uh, companies, market segments. Um, you know, that's that's going to be interesting. I'd say historically, the content has been about 50% Midwest focus. I think it's gone down a little this year because of the coronavirus, which has prompted us to tailor some of the content to make it more relevant for this new normal. Um, and I think that, that's something that people are going to you know, experience. Um, and uh, because it's virtual, it's, you know, able to open it up to a, you know, a little bit of a wider audience. Um, you know, I'm, I'm particularly excited. There are you know, a few sessions that uh, I'm, I'm really eager to, really eager to, to participate in. Uh, that's uh, one is called residential versus commercial versus utility versus community. Um, and I love the sessions that get super contentious or, uh, you know, you have all these conflicting interests at stake. Um, and uh, in, in, across the solar market, you have all of these divides. Um, so I think that, that panels, you know, should be pretty animated, pretty fun. Um, and, uh, you know, I think uh, uh, we have 
Peter Kelly Detweiler moderating a few sessions as well. Um, Peter's great, always has a really uh, fun, interesting interview style. One of those is with Hillary Pearson from Exelon. Um, I think that one's going to be great because, you know, it's, it's always interesting to understand how utilities um, are thinking about grid mod, uh, modernization and renewables. But, um, you know, now during the pandemic, it'll be interesting to hear how those you know, plans might, might change. Um, and, uh, and obviously, you know, so that's from a, I guess from a content perspective, um, obviously from a format perspective, it's a totally different, uh, ball game and we can obviously get into that. Yep. Yeah. We're going to dive in in just a minute to the virtual platform called Verbella. And, uh, it is a completely three-dimensional virtual world, which you'll, you will see here momentarily. Um, anything else you want to share about the event before we dive into the Verbella platform? Uh, yeah, sure. So, you know, I think from a, from a platform perspective, um, in terms of, you know, how we ended up where, you know, where, where we did is where we, we wanted a platform that would, you know, truly enable us to replicate the conference experience. So, you know, we, we think that the market's having some Zoom fatigue, right? People are eager to interact and conduct business in, in the way that they know works. Um, and so a key component of that experience that we are looking to create is that freedom, right? The ability to, to roam and meet people organically and have organic encounters, uh, you know, conduct private meetings or converse in groups, um, really give people a chance to walk, really, you know, walk around, right? Bounce between sessions um, and make it really easy to participate. Uh, so you know, we're, we're excited about being able to facilitate that type of, uh, that type of experience for, for the industry. Um, and uh, yeah, excited to, excited to give you a little tour. And I'll note that you are giving deep discounts for certain industry groups, like here in Illinois, we have the Illinois Solar Energy Association, which gets a 30% discount. So normally the attendee or an attendee would pay $300. Now it's $210 with that discount for ICEA members. I assume there's similar discounts for some other groups like Men Mencia yeah, and exactly. Midwest. Exactly. So it's very uh, reasonable. And of course, you don't have any travel expenses. So yeah, no travel expenses, no shipping, booth supplies, no hotels, meals, flights, pretty, pretty convenient. Yep. Yeah, we might, um, we might discover that doing these things virtually is something that we really like, who knows. So it's a, it's a grand experiment. I love it that you're pushing the boundaries on, on the user experience. And uh, so let's dive into that experience. Here we are in the, uh, in the venue. Yes. Hey, Tim. Hey, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> so I can uh, give you a little, a little tour around. Um, why, don't we, uh, why don't we walk over to uh, the, one of the main session rooms? You can follow me. You can just move with your mouse arrows. Um, and we're going to walk into the main auditorium, which is where we're going to be doing a lot of the, you know, keynote speaking sessions and uh, panels and things like that. So you just, you know, walk through these doors and uh, you're, you're in the main room, uh, in, in one of the main auditoriums. Um, and so it's, it's really neat. You can uh, you know, take a seat, you know, you can sit down next to me here. Um, you know, kind of see what it's like to, uh, see what it's like to you know, see different sessions and you can you know, zoom in on different screens, uh, you know, see what that's like. Um, and uh, yeah, so, you know, the actual sitting at the session is very similar to, uh, you know, what it would be like to sit in another session. I'm always the person that wants to sit really close up because I'm super blind and uh, it's, uh, it, you know, it's kind of nice that I can just zoom in to the screen as opposed to uh, squint. Um, definitely like that part of it. Um, and you know, you can raise your hand, you can stand up, you can walk around the room, um, you know, and then it's really easy to move around the world. Um, as you can see on the top left, there's the go to menu. So you can, you know, go, if you want to go to the exhibitor hall, um, you would you know, go to exhibitor hall. Uh, right now it says team suite, but that's going to say exhibitor hall. Uh, so why don't you can meet me over there? On my way. Uh, 
and on the way there you go um and so this you know this is the experience walk in the exhibitor hall you can see any place that has those blue lines that means it's a, a private meeting area um so that's where you can have a private conversation um you know you can walk into uh you know any booth that you want and uh you know have you know uh, have to see presentations or videos on the screens um you, know, you can sit down at the uh sit down at the table you know in, in the room um and uh you know, sit down at the table in the room and you can you know close the door and you know have that private conversation there um and it's uh yeah it's really neat there's uh you know there's a beach there's a soccer field there's you know all of these interesting places to interact with people um and uh you know it's the, the ability to just walk over to someone and have a conversation is really what's been missing right um from all of the uh uh, events that have you know moved into a virtual format um, and so you know that's uh, that's certainly exciting about uh, about this one and um, yeah I think people are gonna have a lot have a lot of fun right it's kind of a, a game-like experience um, very flexible yep you can yeah look around the room pretty easily you can uh, you know do all kind of fun things if you want to do a dance <laughs> uh, uh, just added an, just added another dance for a samba <laughs> um, so yeah it's it's fun um, we can actually we can go over to uh, if you go over to the campus uh, again okay. we can bounce back over there beam me up Scotty <clears throat> <laughs> So this is uh, like where you poured into the world. That's where, where we started. Um, and so you can see if you like turn around, you can see, you know, having the, uh, you know, partner logos, sponsor logos up on the screens. Um, you know, there's the same signage, the same, right, uh, you know, look and feel. Um, if you actually, if you follow me um, this way, um, if you follow me this way, you can, uh, we can actually run. If you press shift while you're walking, you can run. So you can follow me over there. Um, this is going over to the beach. So, uh, you know, this is gonna be fun. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be like having a, uh, you know, a little, little beach party. Um, you can take that, there's a boat out there. You can take that out. It's really, uh, you know, it's just, it's uh, it, it's it's gonna be interesting. <laughs> I think people are gonna have fun with it. Um, yeah, and then you know, there's you know, similar. Uh, we can actually just go over uh, to the conference uh, hall. Uh, that's that's where pri that's gonna say private meetings, and so that's where you're gonna be able to uh, have your scheduled meetings. So if you go to uh, go to and then conference hall, that's that will say. I said that'll say private meetings. Um, and then, you know, through the conference app, you'll be able to schedule meetings and, and take time, uh, you know, and uh, you know, sit down at, at tables and say, you know, here are your meetings at table N. You'll sit down at that table. You can, you know, look around and talk to people. Um, and because we're inside of this, there's a blue circle around the table, that means it's a private conversation. So, um, you know, still have a lot of privacy built in, um, uh, you know, so you're, you're not uh, sacrificing that by moving into this format. Um, but, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, any, uh, any questions about, uh, about the world? Um, anything else we uh, haven't touched on or? So uh, how many attendees do you expect? So we typically have around 400 at the Midwest Solar Expo. Um, you know, we're hoping to have a similar group this year. Um, you know, and it's a pretty, uh, a pretty nice mix of, of attendees from across the uh, solar supply chain um so it's you know, a lot of developers installers financiers manufacturers epcs uh you know legal and policy experts utilities you know energy storage companies that we've got some really good um uh, content around energy storage uh this year i think we have two or three sessions um covering different aspects of the energy storage market um and uh yeah that's um yeah, kind of a you know, who, who you're going to meet <laughs> kind of a thing. Um, and so, yeah, it's, it's a great place. I, the, the content generally is going to be a little bit more on 
CNI um, community solar and utility uh, over residential, but residential definitely gets fair play at the at the conference as well. Um, obviously, uh, we're we're all trying to build uh, great solar markets you know, across uh, across the industry. Cool. <laughs> so there's um, concurrent sessions. There's a trade show with uh, manufacturers, installers, EPCs uh, doing their usual exhibiting. Um, there's networking events. And I think that's the thing that I have the most reservation perhaps about is what is that going to be like, right? Standing in a room with a hundred or more other avatars and uh, <laughs> trying to get a conversation going. So I'm curious to, uh, to see how that goes, but I like it that you can see a list of you know, attendees or a list of who's in the room, right? Yeah, so you can see who's in the world. You can, um, you know, press go to and then walk over to that person. Here, we can actually try that. So I'll, I'll walk uh, to the, you know, I'll take a few steps back and you can, uh, you can show what that's like to um, walk, you know, to, to walk over to me through the menu. Right. Um, and so you can find people like that all over the world, which is pretty cool. Um, and so you can send someone a message, you can, um, uh, you know, press go to and just walk over to them. Um, what's what's cool is that, you know, you uh, can walk over to a group of people and join their conversation. You can, um, you know, take a few steps away from a group to, you know, have a, a quiet conversation with someone, you know, with, uh, with another person. Um, it's pretty, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty intuitive. It's pretty easy to, to navigate around the world, which was really important to us. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, you know, if you can't be there in person, we definitely think that this is, uh, you know, the, the, the next best thing. Um, and, you know, I think if people em embrace the platform, uh, then I think it, it's going to be a lot of fun. I think, uh, you know, so far the response has been really great and people have been excited. You know, everyone that's going to enter the world has you know, ha had a lot of fun with it. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, I think that the networking piece is going to be is going to be really strong. From an exhibitor's perspective, obviously they have screens in their room that they can preload slideshows and things like that on. Can they also just go to their website and show somebody something on their website? Yeah, totally. So uh, the screens can, you can upload any content you want from your computer. So you know, if you have PDFs or other, other presentation materials, but um, you can, it functions as a full browser. So anything, you know, any website you want to pull up, if you want to put it in a Zoom video feed and, and run a Zoom video feed through the website, uh, through, you know, in your conference room, uh, you can do that. You can do that as well. Um, and, you know, run, you know, put videos, play YouTube video. I mean, anything that you want, uh, you want to put up on those screens, you've got full control over. Um, so, you know, you don't have the physical product there, obviously. Um, but, uh, you know, I think that's uh, Gen 2, uh, and that, that'll be a part of Gen 2. And we're actually talking through uh, Zoom, but if we were talking through the platform, um, you see on the bottom left, it says mic is off. So if I put my mic on in here, you can see I've got a, a little word cloud bubble, uh, you know, above my head. That's how you know that someone is uh, talking. So you can, it's, it's pretty easy to see who's talking at any uh, point in time. Cool. Well, anything else you want to show us right now? Um, I mean, we, we saw a couple of the, you know, a couple of the main areas. Um, you know, I think, uh, yeah, I think people will, will get the gist of it. Um, I'm excited for people to see what it's like with a whole bunch of people, uh, you know, inside of, inside of the world. Um, you know, I think that's going to be, uh, I think that's going to be fun. Um, but, uh, but yeah, excited. I mean, you know, hope, hope everyone uh, hope everyone is able to join and uh, you know take advantage of all the education sessions and you know we've got uh, NAPSEP uh, you know, trainings, different kind of uh, continuing education credits available, um, which is I know it's uh, something that uh, a lot of our uh, a lot of our attendees uh, enjoy. Um, you got the hang of it. There you go. Show <laughs> off a little. <laughs> All right, I'm going to stop sharing the uh, 
the virtual world and go back to the expo website. Uh, so people can find the expo at midwestsolarexpo.com. And how can they reach you, Jake, directly? Uh, yeah, email, LinkedIn, jake.rosemarin at Antenna Group, or uh, you know, LinkedIn is, I'm, I'm an active LinkedIn user. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, you know, midwestsolarexpo.com is a great place to find information about the show. Um, like I said, you know, a lot of good regional content, um, but both for the Midwest more broadly, but you know, also for, for Illinois. Um, we've got uh, a great session on uh, the FIJA implementation and uh, some of the funding gaps with perspective from uh, residential uh, CNI and community solar stakeholders, which uh, I, I think is going to be really interesting. So a few uh, Illinois uh, specific sessions as well. Uh, obviously, this is SolarWorks for Illinois podcast. We're not going not gonna to neglect uh, I'm not going to neglect the Illinois market here. Uh, it's one of the most exciting uh, developing markets in the country. So um, really excited to get, uh, get all of these exciting stories out of Illinois uh, to, to, you know, across the region, but across the country, obviously, as well. Yeah, we're kind of at the precipice in Illinois of either a lot more or a pause. So we will see. And uh, we need to augment FIJA with FIJA 2.0. Yeah. Uh, and then that's consistent with what you see in a lot of the markets, right? I mean, like uh, a lot of markets have had uh, resets and, um, you know, a lot of this stuff is uh, trial and trial and error, right? And, uh, uh, but we've seen, you know, we've seen markets pick up, slow down and then have, you know, fantastic uh, booms. Um, you know, New Jersey is a great example and Minnesota and, you know, the Midwest is a great example. Um, and, you know, I don't think, uh, I think Illinois is going to follow a, a similar trajectory. So we're, we're really excited about, um, you know, all the potential uh, in Illinois, really across the market segments too. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, well, certainly a lot of, the, a lot of uh, those conversations are going to take place at the Midwest Solar Expo. So uh, excited to hear what everyone thinks. Yeah, I'm excited to learn more about what's going on in neighboring states as well, of course. Indiana, Ohio, Michigan, Wisconsin. Yeah. And, uh, and Some stuff great... in Nebraska that's going to be interesting too. We've got a uh, a, a session on the uh, Nebraska model. Um, so um, I, I think that could provide some, uh, some interesting um, perspective as well about some of the uh, newer, uh, uh, much smaller, but um, you know, markets that could be on the horizon. Excellent. Well, thanks so much, Jake Rosemarin, Senior Vice President of the Antenna Group and co-founder of the Midwest Solar Expo. I'm Tim Montague, your host. Thanks for listening to SolarWorks for Illinois. You can find all of our episodes on YouTube and at cesnrg.com forward slash podcast. Be sure to sign up for our email and like us and give us a thumb up, thumbs up on YouTube. Thanks, Jake, and have a great day. Thanks, Tim. Thanks, everyone. Bye.